Good evening YouTube, it is 8.26pm on Monday the 10th of June and it's time for Today in my Dojo. I've waited until now because Daryl is finally asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, he's uh, been a bit of a pain. I'm just going to see if I can... Everything, uh, I knocked everything earlier and it's I've had to sat for ages trying to get it all bloody straight again so right this was yesterday's pen so I wore day face cream yesterday I have not worn makeup I did not do the challenges I did have booze last night so I had fizzy and caffeine with it did not have chips I crafted I'll do a word and I did the rest of it as well yeah, I, I was going to um, do like half of this this morning, but um, I had to go into school and notify the preschool just in case Daryl says anything. And um, oops, bzzz. Um, I had to go in and notify the preschool, and then um, there was shopping to do and. Yesterday, um, so I'm gonna colour my little present in this one. That's seven seven two. Pain was probably about a five. Well, that clashes wonderfully, doesn't it? That was yesterday. Steps yesterday. Wow. 5,491 so again not brilliant I did leave the house for the first time yesterday because uh, Dara and I did go shopping for a little bit yesterday so we went and got um, food and one of that lot I cleaned the loo I didn't strip my bed because I had to change I did my bed on Thursday because Daryl was sick on my bed on Thursday. Yeah, so I had I, yeah I had that to deal with as well. Um, so so yeah, so my bed actually got changed on the Thursday. So yeah, I did do some laundry. I didn't do any of that. I ran out of dishwasher tablets, so I couldn't do that. So yeah, the kitchen got left in a bit of a mess basically. So yeah, I put shopping because I managed to go shopping for yesterday's word, so I was quite pleased about that. Synced my planners up and I didn't actually watch Cindy's life. I went to sleep because I was really, really tired. I also set up next week. I didn't have anywhere to write a task list, so and I started the eulogy for the funeral. Um, Yes, yeah, so I set up. It's now this week. <laughs> um, that is not. Uh, that's my Fitbit challenge. Before anybody panics, Father's Day is actually on Sunday the sixteenth. Um, it's just a Fitbit challenge we're doing. It's called Father's Day, so don't don't panic. Right. Change the pen. So this is today. Right. Weather. It, it's not been very nice. I've got a huge spot, which I know you can't see in the light, but it's oh, it's really big, and I'm hoping that it like explodes tomorrow because it's really sore. Um, right, yeah, the weather's been crap. It's drizzled pretty much all day. Oh, yeah, rain, you don't say. High of nine, a low of seven, but it's been muggy. You know, um, I mean, it's it's nine right now, but it feels like 13 because it's been quite close and muggy and generally not very pleasant. And the sun came up at 4.52 and we'll go, uh, and did go down, should I say, at, oh, or will go down at 9.15, but it's so, ugh, it's just this horrible grey light outside. So let's get that painted up.
I was trying to say to Amanda about how I can't blend very well on this palette so um, hopefully she'll watch this because I want a sort of grey blue so I thought I'd mix my grey and my blue together which I did here and then the paint it just disappears and my palette goes this funny yellowy colour which then doesn't come off even when I get it wet you know it's like it it ruins the pack and that's immediately as soon as I do it um, I've lost my little lost my bit of flipping kitchen roll for heaven's sake so okay right my brush is clear so I get a load of grey Okay, absolutely loads and the first problem I have is getting it onto the palette it just seems to want to stay on my brush okay so I squeeze it a little bit just get a little bit of water down so I mean it sort of beads up and disappears and there's loads still on my brush I hate that it just feels like a waste but see, where's it all going? It's not all in my freaking brush. Or is it? <laughs> Obviously the majority of it is in my brush. Because it just feels like it's a huge waste. I suppose that's not 100% true, that colour representation. Because there was a bit of sun. We went for a walk, um, Callie and I. So, yeah. See, look, it just looks like it's vanishing. pants and why does the Jane Davenport ones go that colour because the Prima don't do that they don't get that sort of orangey rusty look now I need that to dry so I'll just give this a blast and then we'll go on okay today I have one day face cream makeup's not going to be a thing for a while because quite frankly what's the point of putting it on when I'm just going to end up crying at some point and lose it all. Um, challenges are ready to go. I've not had booze but I did have a glass of coke earlier. Did I? Yes, at lunchtime. I did not have chips. We had bolognese. It's the first time I've cooked a proper meal as well. Poor kids have all been living off crap. I bought pie yesterday but I was just like, you know, Chuck it in the oven and wait in it. It's not. It's not like I made it, you know. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. Uh, okay. Today, um, today was hard because Daryl went back to preschool today, so I actually had a couple of hours where I was completely on my own. Uh, that's when I went shopping. I also had to go and visit somebody that I'd known Stuart since she was little and break the news to her because she hadn't actually been told unfortunately she was at work and I felt really awful um, but she was great um, you know she she gave me a hug and said let her know when the funeral was and all that lot but it was it was still it wasn't very nice but I've managed to more or less hold it together so I think we can upgrade to a three <laughs> today or should I just do it at a two no let's do three 346 which I think is that one yep so we'll do mood is 346 pain gonna make that a seven because my legs are aching my back's aching and I had a really crappy night due to pain in my legs so less than five hours sleep last night because I was so freaking tired so that was today right sleep last night was bad <laughs> um, it says I went to sleep at like 10 to 2 and I know that's not true because I got up for fucking painkillers at quarter to 3 so I'm going to put three until quarter past seven. 
and I'm going to take painkillers before I go to bed tonight because I need sleep. I was going to go to bed early and then I thought, no, you know, I said I would do this today in my bujo and it's not, I don't feel like, you know, I have to do it because I told you guys I would do it. I have to do it because I have to do it. I need to, um, I need the normal C, <laughs> you know, so um, I have to for for my uh, well-being, I suppose, my, my mental health, you know. Right, let's, uh, this was about, you know, this, this is easy to keep up when I wasn't actually journaling because Fitbit will actually let you go back and see what you were doing at the time and the weather I just literally screenshotted it every day and then I'd, I'd sort of put in a couple of days worth all in one go when I felt able to sit down at my office again which was when I recorded the video the other day so okay the reason I don't come down and do that line is because of the fact that this um, this pen set tends to sometimes pick it up and I don't want the black smeary shit so you know okay today today I've, I've I've not done too badly today um, I cleaned the loo this morning and I checked for laundry the dishwasher the work top the kitchen's done basically because I cleaned up before I came in here because usually by the time I finish this I'm knackered and I don't want to do anything it's the sitting here that does it it makes my back ache Today's where it's going to be Callie because my daughter came over today and spent some time with me because she knew I was on my own. We went for a little walk, which was lovely. So that week is done. It's, you know, I have started making my book for July. Well, I've got as far as printing the paper, but I'm going to do that in a video. So, you know, um, I printed the paper. I just need to cut a cover my dog snoring I just need to cut a cover and then um, I can put it all together so I might do that at some point tomorrow um, okay let's check bang oh itchy nose all of my kids owe me money in the last week or so they've all gone mom can I borrow some money I'm like no fucking broke oh both three bills came out today that wasn't supposed to happen oh they've synced me that's why oh bugger Okay. So when was mine supposed to come out? I didn't actually write it down. Okay, that's fine. I know then that they do both three bills together. Um, whether they don't do it as one payment rather than two, I will never know. I, I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she is snoring her fucking head off. It's hysterical. Right. Um, let's jump to today and get today done. I'm going to stick a bit of music on for ya. You can have a listen. I'm going to draw out my um, my little parcel and um, do the challenges. Okay, so I'll be back in a moment. There. Um, 
<laughs> um, yeah. We've got the parcel with the number 10. Uh, the prompts were a UFO. Um, uh, I can't remember the proper terminology for that is, but it, it's a horned melon or something. Oh, a key. Kiwano? Kiwano? Kaiwano? Kiwano? But when I when I googled it, it says it's called a horned melon. And it was this weird green colour inside, so it, it's not very good, but there you go. Um, yeah, a UFO and the word limited. Um, so I'll do a little bit of journaling. Um, you might have seen my son just come in, uh, me show him something. Um, I've just bought a typewriter. <laughs> um, because I want to do more little scrapbooking type things so um, I bought a typewriter on eBay and um, the lady that sold it to me told me it used to belong to her grandfather and she actually very very kindly gave me some information and um, sent me a picture so here's a picture of this is Jack Robertshaw and his wife Gladys um, and a picture of the said typewriter and then using the typewriter, I journaled a little bit on the back. Um, it just says, this is Jack Robert Shaw, 1922 to 2005. He served in the Royal Air Force during the Second World War and was awarded the Burma Star. Um, he was a kind and gentle man and he loved writing. He wrote a book on this typewriter, which I purchased from his granddaughter. She has very fond memories of her grandfather at this typewriter. And then I just stuck a few little bits and bobs on, you know, I'm not a huge scrapbooker, you guys know this. So, you know, I... Uh, sorry about the dinging that's my son messaging me um so yeah this, this is just about, about as scrappy as i get guys you know this is this is quite big for me you know so i'm gonna stick that in um probably it arrived on the 6th and i didn't actually do a day for the 6th it, it my pages jump from the 4th to the 8th so i didn't actually really use it straight off so i think i should probably just tick it in here you know with some of my invisible tape yeah i think that will do we'll do that let's just move my keyboard a little hint for you if like me you tend to have problems with the end of your tape and peeling it off get a bit of um, like sprocket backing stick it to your tape and it will hold for you I don't think that he's talking to you my son's outside his chat to somebody I think it's Laura so I'm going to butt that up and I'm going to get another little bit of sellotape. I'm doing it in two bits mainly because there's puffy stickers in the way. <laughs> so, yeah. So push it into the spine to make it nice and snug. And because obviously I want it to turn with my book easily, I'm just going to... Oop. Try not to pierce the bloody tape. It will, because it's very uh, lumpy now. I should have journaled before sticking it in. Oh dear, never mind. Um. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> oh well, you got to laugh, haven't you? Um, yeah, I didn't think about because all the little gems and stuff on it have made it lumpy, and then it's lumpy that side as well due to the letters, but. Perfect, but then neither am I. So there we go. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up um, and a comment. You know the commenty things down the below that you know Daryl Daryl insists. Uh, if you click the book here in the corner, you'll be subscribed, and if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. YouTube willing, of course. Uh, take it easy, guys, and I will see you in Tuesday's edition of Today in My Bujo. Mm -hmm.